going to do three individual videos on the last classification of the different types of neurons, but since these three are all multipolar cells, I'm just going to squeeze them all into this one video. So we'll write at the top, multipolar cells. We'll do each one in a different color. So the first type is a, let's use a motor neuron of the spinal cord as an example. So motor neuron in spinal cord. I run out of space here. Um, so this, once again, is a fairly typical uh, neuron that you would see in kind of any typical drawing of neurons. So you have your, let's draw this actually as one little thing here, cell bodies. Don't know how long this is, so we'll do that. And there, coming down to your axon terminal. And you have a lot of dendrites, basal dendrites, attached to the soma. So, they, that is your motor neuron in the spinal cord. And now we will do a uh, pyramidal cell of the hippocampus. So I'll do this right here. Pyramidal or pyramidal. Don't know how, whatever you prefer for pronunciation. So this one looks a little bit different. So it has apical dendrites. So we'll draw those up here. These different connections, these are all should be connected, touching each other. And so this is an apical dendrite with more coming out of the side. So a lot of connections here. And you have your cell body here. And you also have basal dendrites. So you have basal dendrite connections coming in as well. And then you have your axon, but you also have axons that are kind of traveling about to different locations like this, right? So that is the second type of um, multipolar cell. And the last type, which is very interesting, is called a Purkinje cell. And they are found in the cerebellum. I need a lot of space to draw this one because it's pretty big. Kinji cell, and this is in the cerebellum. Okay, so I will draw the cell body and the axon first. So you have your cell body and your axon, which once again can connect like that. And then up here, you have a multitude of dendrites, a crazy, crazy, crazy amount can be thousands of dendrites in these Purkinje cells. They connect all over the place, very dense in dendrites. So they look like that. If you see them in any textbook uh, drawings, they are just, I encourage you to actually Google an image of these or even a, uh, a real image. Like, so you can see what they look like kind of like under a microscope because it is pretty cool to see just the multitude of connections that these cells can make. So multipolar cells have a single axon with many dendrites. So once again, you have your single axon uh, with uh, many dendrites, and they're the most common type of neuron in the mammalian nervous system. So these three examples illustrate the large diversity of these cells. The spinal motor neurons innervate skeletal muscle fibers, um, Pyramidal cells have a roughly triangular body, so you can kind of see if I draw here, they kind of do have a triangular body. That is why they're called pyramidal cell or pyramidal cells. Um, and they, the dendrites emerge from both the apex, which is the apical dendrites here, and the, uh, the base, which is the basal dendrites here. Um, they're found in the hippocampus and throughout the cerebral cortex, as I indicated right here. 
Uh, Purkinje cells of the cerebellum are characterized by a rich and extensive dendritic tree that accommodates an enormous synaptic input. So lots of connections here. There would be a lot of action going on. You'd have cells from everywhere coming in and making these different connections all over the place with this multitude of dendrites. So that's it for the different classifications of neurons. So we discussed the uh, unipolar cell, the bipolar cell, the pseudo unipolar cell, and the three different types of multipolar cells. So I hope the anatomy of the neurons is a little bit easier now because it is very crucial to know and understand how the anatomy works. And I'll actually discuss in future videos how these signals and how uh, signal transduction theories and different, different uh, ways that the neuron can actually relay a message from its dendrites to its synapse onto the next cell down the line.